Hey guys, how my beautiful people doing? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, my name is Dan. Um, a long time no see, I know. I, um, I took a very, very long break, probably the, the longest break I've ever taken. Um, it's because I lost someone that was very close to me. Um, I, I lost a family member and um, it was basically the worst experience of my life. So I was not, I was not able to function at all. Oh, even thinking about it now makes me wanna cry. Um, but yeah, it's it was very um, traumatic and also confusing at the same time because she was so young, she was younger than me and uh, you are not supposed to lose people younger than you. I mean, in this age range, usually you're supposed to lose people that, that are much older than you. But yeah, I'm, I'm in a much better place now and um, I have a review, a review for you guys, okay, I need to focus. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna post much more consistent from now on, uh, pretty much every day, that's my goal. Don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that, but um, I have, uh, I'm coming back with a great review for you guys. It's an actual matte sunscreen, and uh, I know a lot of sunscreens, they claim they are matte, they are actually almost never matte. <laughs> Uh, the only one I could think of, of is probably the Purito Comfy Water, but that one was discontinued because it was not offering the protection that was on the package. So yeah, this one is actually matte. Before I start the review, please consider following me on Instagram, subscribe to the channel for more videos related to skincare, uh, ring that bell so you get notified every time I post something. Guys, leave a comment down below, just comment anything, just say hi or something, because it helps with the YouTube, YouTube algorithm not talk after this long break exposing this video to as many people as possible and um, I have a patreon account if you want to help support the channel I would greatly appreciate that so I'm gonna start as always with the packaging we have a squeeze tube I really like this kind of packaging very easy to use just open it up this way and use the product um, when it comes to price, I paid around 12 euros for this one, which is, I think, $14. I, I, actually, now with the new uh, conversions, it's actually $12, I guess. It's a great price, in my opinion. This is a really nice sunscreen. $12 for 1.7 fluid, fluid ounce, which is 50 ml. Uh, now, when it comes to irritant ingredients, this one is alcohol-free, but it has fragrance. And it's also not fungal acne safe, has two fungal acne safe, uh, unsafe ingredients. Um, they are pretty low on the ingredient list, but still you should be, you should be careful. Uh, I've used this one twice a week, maybe three times per week. I never use it consistently for a week every day because I don't want to risk any breakouts because this one is not fungal acne safe. And I've never had any problems, I, I didn't get any new breakouts with this one. But I still don't want to risk that, I, as you can see I already have some and it's so hard to treat the post-inflammatory erythema after that is just pain in the ass. So um, yeah, it is not fungal acne safe, but it's not the most unsafe when it comes to fungal acne ingredient, even with normal acne. Um, now, my experience with the product, I'm gonna talk about the filters. I'm gonna apply this one so you guys can see how it looks like on my skin. This one, uh, the first ingredient, for, actually this one is waterless, it has no water. Yeah, the first ingredient is isodoricane which is an emollient uh, that gives this very luxurious feel to the product and actually it makes it look matte. That's probably why this one is matte. It also has some silicones, has dimethicone, so if you're trying to avoid that, it's not gonna be the product for you. But in my experience, silicones are pretty safe, even for acne prone skin. Uh, sunscreen filters in this one. We have six UV filters, which is a lot. We have UNO A+, which is a great uh, UVA filter. Homosalate, UVB filter, uh, octinoxate, octisalate, even on T150, a great new generation UVB filter, and Tinosorb S, which is one of the best UV filter that we have, covers UVA, UVB. Basically, a great combination of filters, new generation, old generation. Uh, there's no avobenzone, so if you're allergic to that, uh, this would be a good one for you. It never irritated my skin. I can apply this one even after a peel. It never felt like steaming or something. So I would say it's pretty good for people with sensitive skin. However, it's not, um, it does have fragrance. So if you're allergic to fragrance, of course you should avoid this one. Speaking of the fragrance on this one, it's, um, the fragrance reminds me of 
like a hair product for some reason. I don't mind it, it's kind of pretty nice. Uh, it's not super strong, but it lingers for hours and hours. Like sometimes if I can feel it even in the evening when I should remove it already. It lingers for the entire day, it never dissipates completely. So um, if you think you'd be bothered by that, you should skip this one. But uh, like I said, I like the fragrance, so I don't mind that. It's just a thing that you have to know, it lingers for the entire day, it never disappears. Let me actually apply it now, so I have a little bit left, so you guys can see how it looks like on my skin. It has this very weird texture, I'm afraid not to drop it. Okay. Yeah, it's basically transparent, it looks kind of like a, a mousse or something, I don't know. Um, it's not that, I mean, it's not the easiest to apply on your face because it you might like drop it. That's what just happened now. <laughs> it's kind of a mess actually. Usually I just apply it straight on my face. But um, it's so easy to spread. It spreads so freaking nice. Probably one of the most elegant formula. Basically it feels like, well, it, it feels like a primer. It has a lot of silicone, so that's probably why. But it's so freaking easy to spread this one. You cannot, and you cannot feel it on your skin. And it has this invisible finish. It feels like I, I didn't apply anything, as you guys can see. Very, very nice. Now, the one thing I don't like about, about this one is that after a couple of hours, it, it is gonna run into my eyes and give me the burning eye sensation. So uh, basically I don't use this one around my eyes. I, I apply a separate sunscreen, that's what I did today. For some reason I decided to apply a tinted sunscreen under my eyes and it looks kind of weird. <laughs> but um, yeah. And you are done, I mean, it's so, so easy to apply this one. One of the easiest. Yeah, I am basically done, I think. It feels like nothing else. It feels so dry, but like soft at the same time. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. And also, I feel like it, to camouflage just my pores a little bit, makes them a little bit less visible, which is very, very nice. I really like that. Um, leaves your skin super, super soft, very, yeah, it feels slightly silicone -y, so if, if you don't like that, it's not gonna be the one for you. I love that, actually. Let me check the ingredient list to see if there's anything worth mentioning. Um, there is actually a little bit of water towards the bottom of the ingredient list, <laughs> but um, have some antioxidants, some vitamin E, some carrot root extract, which is supposed to be an antioxidant. Um, there is some... Um, What's this one? Uh, soybean oil, which as far as I know, it's supposed to be slightly brightening. I think Dr. Dre mentioned that. Um, yeah, a nice ingredient list, not a ton going on, but it is a sunscreen, so you should not expect. So yeah, great experience with this one. There are some drawbacks like the fragrance and the burning eye sensation. But besides that, it is one of the best sunscreens I've ever tried one of the most elegant, if not the most elegant sunscreen. I really like this silicone feel. Uh, it's the most matte sunscreen I've ever tried. I am starting to get slightly shiny, but it's because of uh, the heat. It's so freaking hot in here, not because of the sunscreen. I'm just starting to sweat. So <laughs> uh, it's like 40 Celsius and I have no AC, so um, that's the, the result of that. Give it a shot. If this was from Black Me Save, this would have been a holy grail, but because of that, I cannot wear it every day and uh, such a shame. <laughs> but um, let me know if you guys ever tried this one, what do you think about it? What other sunscreens, uh, sunscreens I should check? I think this has the same, kind of the same formula and feel as the Kylie one, that she stole the formula from someone, I don't remember the, the name of the brand. Also, First Derm has kind of like a um, comparable sunscreen, which I I am gonna try to, to purchase and review for you guys. Maybe do a comparison between these two. But yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, guys. I love you all. See you all in my next video. Bye.